Hello, hello, good evening. Hi, Carmen. Hello, Edgar. Hi, John. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, welcome. Okay, guys, we're going to start with our session for today. This is our session number 14. And we're about, uh, well, to finish the, um, let's say, unit number three. So, so we'll continue as required with the next topic, which is, um, well, propositions of time. During the previous sessions, we studied a little bit about double H questions, right? So we're practicing with the double H questions. Hoy continuamos un poquito más eh, avanzando con, en cuanto a los contenidos. And we will be able to uh, answer questions about someone else's dates and times of workplace activities. Continuamos ahí con nuestro objetivo. Okay. So now, look at this. Here we have our warming up, uh, well, our agenda. Uh, we have a warming up. We have a pre-task. And... Um, well, for our topic in today's session, we have time prepositions. We will uh, talk, uh, well, we will have some exercises, uh, some conversations, and, and besides that, uh, remember that you have to complete an activity in our website, right, in our platform. Okay, so let's continue. Look at this. This is a Preview of the vocabulary that we have for today's class. Summer, spring, winter, autumn, midday, midnight, time, date, week, month, and year. Okay, tenemos un poquito de vocabulario que vamos a estar viendo este día. For example, we have summer, spring, winter, autumn, midday, or midday, yeah, that's midday, and Midnight, midnight, time, day, week, month, and year. So look at this. Uh, question, do you know what midday means? So what is midday? Any idea? Midday? O sea, si lo vimos ahí en una clase anterior, o sea, si lo vimos en alguna conversación, ¿lo recuerdan? What was midday? Yeah, la mitad, medio día. La mitad o medio. Ajá, uh -huh, el mediodía. Yeah, that's right. And midnight? Medianoche. Exactly. So since we're talking about time, it's really important to, well, uh, get some vocabulary, right? Okay. So look at this. So just to start, we have a discussion on the following questions. For example, when do you wake up in the morning? So I'm asking about time. Uh, I wake up uh, at seven, at eight, at five, someone will say, say, say right? Uh, what is the first thing you do after you wake up? I don't know. Do you pray? Do you sing? Do you uh, say? Do you greet a someone in your house? ¿Qué hacen? De, ¿Qué es la primera cosa que hacen después de, de despertar? So what do you do? <laughs> do you continue sleeping? 
continuamos durmiendo. So what do you do? Tell me. So that's what we're going to discover. Let's see. Um, question three is, um, okay, it's actually about the things that you eat or drink uh, for breakfast. What time do you eat lunch? Do you eat dinner? Mm, okay, interesting question. What do you do in the evening? Gases en la tarde. When do you usually go to bed? The time that you usually go to bed. So these are some common questions that you already know. Son preguntas que ustedes ya manejan. So now look at this. Um, ah, okay. So this is the same. This is actually the same. Es prácticamente lo mismo. So we just uh, have seven questions. Ahí solamente tenemos diez. Pre uh, siete preguntas. Hello, Calvin. Welcome. So now let's see. Let's try to do it together and then you uh, practice with a classmate in the break of rooms. So lo vamos a hacer primero juntos. Vamos a ver qué, qué, qué descubrimos hoy. Y luego lo, lo hacemos también, lo discutimos con los compañeros, ¿ok? So let's see. Um, Daniel, Daniel, when do, you, uh, when do you wake up in the morning? Tell me. When? Mm -hmm. I, I wake, wake up at quarter to five a quarter to five okay nice continue uh, ask any question daniel to a classmate we have johnny carmen um let's see uh, johnny okay what is the first thing you do after you go up okay so what do you do, Daniel? ¿Qué hace? ¿Qué es lo primero que hace? I take a shower. You take okay. a shower. Mm, okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's continue investigating. Johnny, as a classmate, any of that questions? ¿Por qué era esa pregunta, Johnny? Un compañero. Okay. Um, para... Calvin, um, what do you usually eat and drink for breakfast? Activate your microphone, Calvin. Tell us, tell us, share with us, please. Question three, question three, Calvin. Okay, let me verify. Me ver ahí, Calvin. Um, how about Edgar? Ask Edgar. Hello, Edgar. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, welcome. Okay, so um, Johnny, repeat the question. Edgar will be pleased to answer. What do you usually eat and drink for breakfast? <clears throat> what do you usually eat? Uh -huh. What do you usually eat? A salad, a sandwich, I... five pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me <my> conoce. <goodness. laughs> <laughs> I well, usually well, eat uh, um, yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, brand and coffee. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, Edgar, continue with the next question and ask a classmate. Uh, seguimos ahí con la otra, uh, Edgar. Hello. Hi. Okay. Hi. Good evening. Ahí viene Mario ya ofreciéndose. <laughs> okay, Edgar, ask uh, Mario. <laughs> okay. What time do you eat lunch, Mario? What time do you do? Um, um, one o'clock. At one o'clock. Okay. Okay. Well, and let's see. Do you eat dinner? Um, Mario, continue with the next question. Question five. Ask Carmen. Carmen is here. But I thought Carmen también. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you eat dinner, Carmen? No, let's see what is Carmen. No. Yes. Ah. 
Yes, right? Okay. Pues aquí me vas a decir que no. Pupusas. Pupusas for the morning. Okay. Pupusas for lunch. And pupusas for the evening. Okay. For dinner. Okay. Well, that's a, a 100% uh, salvadoran person, right? A person, 100% salvadoreña. Okay, no, I'm no, just kidding. Okay. Um, Carmen, ask the question uh, number six to a classmate. I don't think I've said that. Okay. No sé qué le pregunto. Okay, so let me investigate. We have okay. Kevin. <laughs> okay, Kevin, what do you do in the evening? Activate your microphone, Kevin. It's off. Hello, hello, Kevin. Hi. Ah, ahí está. Hi, hi. Hey. Uh, repeat the question, Ke Carmen. Kevin, what do you do in the evening? Um, I am bad. Uh -huh. I am rest. I rest, okay. I rest. I rest. I yeah. rest. Uh huh. I, I stay. Rest. Uh -huh. I stay home so you can add some more ideas, right? Listen to music. So it's, you have to describe the activities that you do, right? And uh, the last question: When do you usually go to bed, guys? Johnny, when do you usually go to bed? What time? Let's see. Um, I usually go to bed at 11 p.m. Okay, 11 p.m. And what time do you wake up in the morning? At 5, 5.30 a.m. 5.30 a.m., okay. So it means that you sleep like around seven hours. Okay, let's see. Uh, how about you? Uh, let's see, Edgar. How about you, Edgar? Where do you usually go to bed? I remember that you mentioned a time. Question seven. When do you usually go to bed? Hello, hello, Edgar. Hi, teacher. Uh huh. So tell us. When the, uh huh. Question seven. When do you usually go to bed? Let me see. Uh, one dollar. Uh huh. Time. The time. Okay. 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 I usually go to bed at um, eleven o'clock. Eleven. Okay. So that's um really well. That's okay. um most of your classmates' uh, schedule, right? Okay. So now let's see, we will continue because we have some more things. Let me see. Okay, so now it's time to practice a little bit with um the topic that we were practicing in our previous class, which uh was about the time, right? What questions using what time? Ask and answer questions about time. So what time is it? So that's one of the common questions that we use in order to ask about time. So which was the other question? What's the time? So both of them are possible, right? So you can use either what's the time or what time is it? And well, we learn about, um, let's say, uh, how to say right? uh, time. como decir la hora, right? Uh, for example, um, we have the, the the first one, right? So, what time is it? What time is it? It's it's six twelve o'clock. Uh -huh. Oh, look at the, the hands. Vamos ahí las manitas. Look at the hands. It's six o'clock. It's six o'clock. Mm -hmm. So that's right, right? And so now I need you to ask some questions, some follow-up questions. For example, what time is it? Um, and you use the second clock. So it's uh, what time is it for the second clock? Can you tell me what time is that? What's the time? It's 40, no, 24 past 
Pasten. Pasten. Perfect. So that's what you have to do. You have to practice using these clocks. And you can also use the word around, alrededor de. So that's another uh, word that you can use in order to mention, right? The time. It's seven o'clock. It's uh, 25 past 10. It's 24 past 10. It's around 7 p.m., for example. And in here, you can ask some more questions. For example, what time do you get uh, get to your workplace? Or what time do you take a shower, let's say? What time do you uh, have meetings? ¿Qué horas tienes las reuniones? What time is the video conference? Okay. So which could be any other question that you should, uh, that you could add? ¿Qué otra pregunta podríamos agregar respecto a um, tiempo? What time? When do you start working, for example? ¿A qué hora inicias a trabajar? So, okay, so and you have to tell me, right? What time do you do you clock in? At what time do you clock out? Okay, clock out, right? O marcar la entrada y marcar la salida, right? So what time do you do this, uh, all of these activities? O sea, ahí tiene un modelo. Uh, what time do you get to your workplace? ¿A qué horas llegas a tu trabajo? Y acá tenemos algunos otros ejemplos. For example. So first, I need you to identify the times for these clocks. Entonces, primero vamos a identificar los tiempos para estos relojes. Y luego también utilizamos algunas preguntas adicionales. So, but I need you to give the, the correct times, right? So you have to analyze this first. Okay, entonces primero analizamos esos relojes que tenemos ahí. So what time is it for the um, for our clock number three? So what's the time? What's the time? How about this one? So what's the time for this one? This one. So what's the time? Tell me. It's 14 to 6. Okay, 14 to 6. How about this one? What's the time? Clock number 4. Here. How Around many? 24 past 3. Okay, it's around 24 past 3. Okay. Three. Excellent. Around. Um, how about this one? So what's the time? Let's it's see. 22. It's 22. To, um, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to two, right? To two. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. And how about this one? Johnny, ideas? Uh, it's five um three. Uh -huh, it's five three. Okay. How about this one? So we're about to finish. So how many minutes? Um, to seven. Around eight to seven. Uh huh. Around eight minutes to seven. Okay. How about this one? What's the time? Let's see, Mario, what do you think? What's the time? So look at the first one, it's um, 12, right? Okay, interesting. So this is not the same as a clock, right? And este ya no se parece el que veíamos el día el día martes. Let's <laughs> yeah, o'clock. But... Okay, so what do you think? So what's the time, guys? Edgar, it's, it's, uh -huh. 20, it's 20, 20, 20, 21 past 12. Mm, okay, so what do you think? Any other opinion? It's okay. 20, after... 
It's four past nine. Uh -huh, it's like three, I guess. Okay. Uh, three or four. Okay. Two. Um. Okay. Past nine. Okay. And then you have to, well, first write the, the times. Write the times and add some, uh, ask some questions using what time. So what time do you do this, Daniel? So you use the times that you have written. Vamos a escribir las horas de estos relojes. And then you have to practice using double edge questions and using the times that you have already written. Entonces vamos a ir utilizando las dos cosas. Las double edge questions con, uh, I mean, what time with the times that you have written here. Con las horas que ustedes vayan escribiendo acá. So these are related to these clocks. Tienes que hacer, no son cualquiera, no inventar, son las que están ahí. Ok, for example, what time is the meeting? ¿A qué hora es la reunión? What time is the meeting? It's at 6 o'clock. Um, ok, when do you take a shower? Never. Ok, so you, you cannot say never, so say, use the second one, for example. Um, ok, I take a shower at, let's say, um 24 24 uh, past 10 for example when do you have classes or what time do you have classes what time do you have classes okay so what time do you have classes or what time do you have your english class for example so what time do you have your english class Ah, I have my English class at around um a quarter to six, or at around let's say thirteen minutes to six. Let's say. What time is the video call? Let's say. Okay, what time is the video call? A video conference that you may have. What time is the video conference? So try to add some more events. Ustedes pueden ir cambiando ahí los nombres de los eventos. So I'm just giving you some examples. Entonces ahí les estoy poniendo algunos ejemplos. ¿A qué hora es la reunión? ¿A qué horas te bañas? ¿A qué horas tienes tu clase de inglés? ¿A qué hora es la videollamada, la videoconferencia? Uh, what time do you start working? Okay. ¿A qué horas inicias a, a trabajar? So I need to work, right? What time do you start working? Ah, I start working at, um, let's say, well, this, this is not possible, right? So we can say um, at seven, uh, at seven o'clock, but try to use these clocks. Entonces puedo utilizar estos clocks, pero tienen que escribir la hora primero. Okay, so any other idea, Daniel, any other idea? What time do you? Um... visit clients for example visit clients what time print the report okay what time do you print do you print uh, the, report? uh -huh, uh -huh. the reports uh what time okay do you check the okay or do you supervise supervise the production let's say so you can use these questions in order to ask about the activities that you normally do at your workplace. So it can be activities that you do in your work, not just activities routine, like well, activities more than este, related to the activities that we do more routine in terms of bathing, not that you can combine them also with activities that you do merely in your work or in your area. Okay, so here you have the examples and, um, well, take a screenshot. So I'm going to send you one. Okay, so let me send you the first one. Okay, ahora les envío una que no tiene nada. So 
So, and I need you to practice. So first, uh, write the, um, the times, and then you uh, start practicing with the double H questions. Primero empezamos a practicar ahí escribiendo la hora, y luego ya empezamos con las preguntas, right? You ask, and somebody answers. No pregunta, alguien responde. Okay, so let's do it. I'm going to open the breakout rooms. So let me see. I'm going to create groups of uh, three. Okay, vamos a ver si creamos ahí los grupos. Uh, Jonathan, Fernando, Kevin. Ahí les envío invitación. Johnny, Carmen también. Me avisan ahí si alguien que no recibe invitación. Teacher, dice que a mí me... Como que se fue el internet, no sé, o no sé si se le fue a usted. Hola, buenas noches, teacher. ¿Por qué me salió? Ah, se le voy a enviar de nuevo. Voy manejando, no puedo... Ok, Pero William. De acuerdo. Vamos a ver. Ya ahorita le envío Carmen otra vez. Vamos a ver. Ok. Porque me está cargando todavía y tengo internet. Vamos a ver. Ahí probemos ahí con esa otra opción. Voy a enviarle una foto para que vea. Porque sí, no le escucho un poquito no me está cargando. Vamos ahí. Y los demás, vamos. Eh, Daniel, no le apareció invitación aún. Bueno, sí, me apareció. Ah, ok, perfecto. Sí. Eh, vamos ahí. Johnny. Ah, Johnny ya está ya. Eh, Ingrid, Calvin, eh, Jonathan. Eh, Jonathan. So, let's see. Two group number one, Jonathan. Ahí le envié, teacher. Okay. Me conecta. Mm, sí. Dora, ok, Dora, vamos a darme mi cara Dora ahí en el 3. Ah, oh, sí, se le ha quedado congelada ahí, este, Carmen, pero se le ha quedado congelada. Sí, no me sale nada. Me salgo y me vuelvo a meter. Sí, intentemos. Vamos a intentar. Vaya, vaya ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Ok, perfecto. Hello, teacher. Hello, How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I'm a little bit sick. Un poco. Ok, continue, continue, guys. Ah, ok. escribiendo primero la, las... Ah, ahora, ahora. Ahora, no, ok. Para después escribir las preguntas. De... Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, that's ok.
tocar con CK. No, pero Clock se escribe, ya le digo, o Clock, o Clock. Clock, o el, la cosita, o oh, no sé cómo se llama. Después C, L, O, C, K, o Clock. Six Clock. Ahí va. Six o Clock. Va, perfecto. Pasemos al siguiente. Next one. Vaya, ahí, cabal, haga, mueva un poquito esa más para el, el otro relojito. Mueva un poquito más. Perfecto. It's. Puede, ahí podemos decir it's. Uy, espérame, ¿qué verdad? Quiero ver. ¿Qué horas son? It eh, y 24. It, it tu, 24 past 10. No. <ríe> no es for de marca. <ríe> Es four. Twenty four. Four. Uh, four. 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 Past. 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 Ten. Ten. Son veinticuatro pasadas las diez. El otro is correct. Por aquí arriba lo voy a poner. Sí, arriba puede ponerlo. Ese sería is it quiero ver it's is fourteen to six. It's for catorce zomba. Creo que sí. For team. It's for. No, se escribe ing for team. Team de catorce. For four. No, pero es four. Four team. It's for team. Creo que alguien nos chateó en el grupo. For team. Hello. Thank you, teacher. Okay. En el chat lo, lo, lo colocó de t-shirt. It's 14. Two. Six. Fourteen. Fourteen. Exactly. Two, two, six. Faltan catorce para las seis. Six. The next. Ese quiero ver con el... Ahí, cabal. Ese sería igual que el segundo. Ese sería... Quiero ver qué It, it's for, it's 24, 24, Eva, it's 24, 24, it's 24, it's 20, 20, 20. For pass. Past. Uh, past. Three. 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 
El otro sería... Quiero ver... It... Este sería... It's 22... 22... Two. Fuya, ve esa. It twenty two two two. It's twenty two twenty twenty two two two. It's two. Son veintidós para las dos. Three. It's twenty two to two. It's twenty two to two. Two. Okay. The next. Ah, ese está facilito. It's five o'clock. Ah, no. No. No es o'clock, es it's two. Ando, ¿Qué sí. poner? <risa> no, ya me acabo de meter. Ah, ok. No me había podido meter a los grupos. Va, yo ya tengo algunas respuestas a esas preguntas. Da igual. Eh, teacher, consulta. Dígame. Ay, disculpe que no puedo hablar bien, que tengo gripe. Me la paso por el camino. Viro este computador. Este. Quiero ver qué es lo que le iba a decir. Estas tienen que ser cabal, eh, respondidas eh, según el criterio de uno o. Pueden utilizar las horas que ya tienen ahí. Ah, las horas que ya tenemos aquí. Ajá. O oh, bueno, las preguntas. Respondí, pero. Dicha las que preguntas. Ajá. Las preguntas que usted había colocado ahí eran las que íbamos a contestar con las horas que aparecían en la imagen, ¿verdad? Sí, pueden tomar esos modelos. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Hmm. Johnny, y Johnny, eh, no le alcanza a escuchar, Johnny. ¿Le cambió las ah, horas? Sí, sí, le cambió las horas. Le puse otras. Ah, ok, pero no hay problema, las puedo compartir aquí con los compañeros para que lo escuchen. Yo igual he cambiado unas horas, ¿verdad? Ok, so I think you finish. Entonces ya terminaron. Y hicieron la práctica ahí compartiendo con las, eh, las times y eh, las questions. Ah, no, eso todavía no, ahorita lo vamos a terminar. Este... Uh -huh. Yo no pude, teacher, porque hasta ahorita me pude meter en el grupo. Okay, ah, ¿Por qué no lo pregunte? Que le Ajá, les puede, pre les puede preguntar Carmen a Johnny y Mario. ¿Sí? Ok, no. ok, ok. No me preocupe, Carmen, ahí conteste ahí. <ríe> ok, ok. Bueno, si gusta, le hacemos unas preguntas, Carmen. Ok, no, las que estuvimos okay, respondiendo okay, anteriormente. Ajá. Ok, ajá. nos pregunta. Ok, ajá, usted nos pregunta y nosotros ah, vamos a, a, a ver porque, qué, qué tal. Porque ya tenemos la respuesta. Eh, las primeras eran, when do you wake up in the morning? ¿Esa? No. No, son, son unas que, la, que dice la primera, what time is, is the meeting? Ajá, what time is the meeting? Okay. Que no la puede tomar. Me las envían, no. por fin. Ajá, y están, eh, creo que están en el chat. Ahí las en, en el chat. Eh, tiene la, mandó la captura la, la teacher. Ajá. Sí. Ah, se me desconectó la palabra este, y me salí. Ah, ahí están, acaba. ya la volví a enviar. Ya, ya, ya. Ya compartió otra también. Uh -huh. Las que están en rojo. Vaya. Entonces, según, la, uh -huh. según los horarios. Sí, lo que, ahorita, ahorita. Según los horarios que, que Teacher ha mandado, pues, ¿verdad? Podemos contestar también con. 
con esas horas. Entonces sería en esa. What time is the meeting? Ajá. What time is the meaning? Mhm. Entonces, eh, ahí va. Le podemos poner eh, the Ajá, meeting yo puedo is... responder. The meeting ah. is at 6.45 p.m. Ah. Vayan, lo, las otras preguntas pueden okay. ser este... Eh, when do you do when do you take a shower? Take a shower. Ajá. Ay, disculpen si no puedo hablar bien, pero tengo gripe. No se preocupe. Entonces les hago yo las preguntas. Sí. Es que ese lo podemos decir de, por ejemplo, it it eh, 28, 5, no, 20, 20, 20, 28 son, ¿verdad? 28, o es 9, 29, it's 29, mire, 20, 20, 20, it's 20, 20, T W E N T I Twenty. No, el Twenty es T W E N T I. No, una, una es, una es Twenty. Twenty. No, T A T I Y T I Y. Twenty. Twenty. Y. Y. Twenty. El último. Vaya, ese está fácil. ¿Cuál es la otra forma que dijo el de T-shirt? que podríamos decir que es como la forma normal, normal. Ya no me acuerdo, ya lo escribió, pero... Bueno, solo las que me acuerdo, ¿sí? Podemos estar ahí las nueve y cuatro, así. Ah, hello, teacher. Nine, Cabal, nine, ¿cómo, cómo, nine, ¿cómo sería four. esa? It's nine four. It's nine, It's nine four. Ah, cabal, esa es la que no me acordaba. It's night. It, it, it. Ahí se los ubiqué en el chat. ¿Me ven viéndolo? Ah, perfecto. Ah, sí, es que quiero. It's night for. Es las nueve y cuarto. Y el tú, recuerden que el tú es ese teo. Para, es el para. It's 29 to 1. El, el anterior, el que estaban haciendo. It's 29 to 1. 29. Ah, para. sí es cierto. Tú, tú. Sí, pero se parece, se escribe igual. Es igual. <ríe> sí, pero. Ajá, pero recuerden que es el para. ¿Cuánto falta para el siguiente hora? 20, 29, 30. 5 minutes to 7. Pero... Por ejemplo, Ajá. el 5, el 5 sí así sería, ¿verdad, teacher? Eh, la 5, ok. It's 20. 22. 20, ah, pero está mal escrito el 20. It's 22 to 2, así sería, ¿verdad? Ajá, 22 to 2. Ahí lo que van haciendo es ubicarle un guión. 20, ok, 22 to 2. Sí, es que ese está ahí va, ahí va, ahí va. Ese, ese está como un poquito medio raro porque. Pero así sigue. It's 22 to 2, correcto, así es. Mm. Ey, ¿cómo pudo modificar eso, Kevin? Yo he intentado y media vez uno ya, ya ha pasado al otro, ya no, no he podido. Ah, exacto. Bárbaro. Va, el último que digo, y terminamos.
it nine it's nine four I the teacher no say you excellent what a time to do the capture work workplace what time do you grab sí. work Ahora que ya tienen eso, ahora ya solamente van utilizando las preguntas. Por ejemplo, what time is it? ¿Qué hora es? It's six o'clock. Ahora, okay. ¿qué otra pregunta podemos ocupar? De las que les compartí, pueden ocupar también. Y si no, pueden ocupar. What time do you get to your workplace? Uh, I get to my workplace at uh, six. At uh, ten past... Eh, vamos a ver, a las... Uh, at twenty... 24 past 10. Entonces, okay. pero siempre vamos ubicando acá en este caso el at. ¿A qué hora at. llegas a tu trabajo? At. At. Entonces aquí ya no sería it's porque no estamos preguntando el tiempo, sino que estamos preguntando por la hora en que usted hace otra actividad. Mm -hmm. Ok. Excelente. Pueden ir practicando con esta. What time is it? Okay. Listo, Kevin. Con Kevin, teacher, tenemos confianza porque somos compañeros de trabajo. Me imaginé. <ríe> Listo, Kevin. Are you ready? You What? can do it. Va. Excuse me. You can do it. In it, in this moment, I take my class in English. You, you time, you time is now. You time is now. You time. Tu tiempo es ahora. ¿Cómo fue que dijo? Sí, you time is now. Ah, okay. Va, iniciemos. What time is it? It's uh twenty four twenty four past ten. ¿Cuál me está diciendo? ¿El, el segundo? Sí, el segundo. Ah, ok. Eh, what time is the video call? What time? No, espéreme, esa sería What time is... No, ¿a qué hora es su videollamada? What time is... Y... What... No, what time... What time? What time is your no así sería no. what time is your video call my video call it's uh twenty two 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 okay uh, so yeah what time do you start working I start working uh eight o'clock. Por, por, ¿cuál, ¿Por cuál vamos ahorita? Ah, oh. oh, o sea, tendrí, teníamos que seguir estos, estas respuestitas. No, sí, vamos a ir a, vamos a practicar con, con los nueve relojes que tenemos ahí. Se los voy a preguntar yo primero y después usted me lo pregunta. Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back. Hello, guys. Welcome back. So we're about to continue. So I'm just waiting for the rest. Let's see what do you have. Vamos a ver qué tienen ahí los demás. 
okay so just waiting for some of them uh daniel are you here uh yeah, you say okay perfect so let's see so now i'm going to ask uh one by one uh, one a question so i'm gonna select any let's see number one is see mario mario what time do you get to your workplace so you start with um the first clock so just to see if you did it okay okay mario mario what time do you get to your workplace uh, I get to my workplace yes. at uh, uh, seven. Uh -huh, I get seven o'clock at seven. Um, okay, okay, seven o'clock. It's okay, but the first one says at six o'clock. Let's see, number two, Daniel. What time do you uh, have the video call with the let's say with the company? What time? Como? <laughs> what time? What time do you have the video call? Mm. It's twenty-four past ten. At at at, at twenty-four past ten. Okay, perfect. Let's see, Edgar. What time do you um? Let's say what time do you? attend the meetings mm -hmm. what time do you attend meetings clock number three number three now activate your microphone at 24 uh, number 24. three this one this yes. one this Okay, at 24 to 6. Okay, but this is not 24. Look at this. Vamos ahí el número 3. ¿Cuántos minutos? Okay, lo voy a poner en grande. Estaba pequeñito. Okay, el número 3. Venga. This one. Ah. Uh, Ajá. Uh -huh. 14. Okay, 14 to? 14 to 6. Okay, excellent. Johnny, what time do you supervise the production? Activate your microphone. This is uh, for clock number four. Clock four. Uh, I supervise production at three nineteen mm -hmm. a.m. Okay, look at this. Uh, 15, 20, 20, 23, or 24? Uh, 24, 24. Uh-huh. 24 a.m. 24 p.m. Okay, well, I don't know. Could be a.m. <laughs> okay. Uh, what time is the English class? Carmen, clock number five. Uh, what is uh, Carmen? Carmen, you hear? Okay, let's see. Oscar, help us, Oscar, with our clock number five. What time is the English class? Is thirty six to two. Okay, it's at. Okay. Thirty thirty six. Okay, so let's see how many minutes. Thirty seven. This one. At thirty seven. Mm, okay. Ah oh, no, you're reading the opposite way. Okay, lo estamos leyendo al revés. Sería at 1.30. ¿Cuántos minutos hay aquí? Vamos a ver. No, pero por un tremendo río. Teacher. Chicos. Ajá. Vamos a ver, chicos. ¿Qué, qué pusieron ahí en el 5? Eh... 
Uh, it's 22 to 2. Okay. 22 to 2. Okay. Okay. The English class is at 22 to 2. Okay. Uh, Carmen. Carmen, creo que ya está acá. Carmen. Sí. Uh, I have English class at... Um... Okay, six. Continue with number six. Seven. Oh, lo siento, lo siento, lo siento. No worry, it's okay. Thank Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, okay. And how about number six? Six. Uh, Daniel, what do you have for number six? At three past five. Three past five. Okay, what time is the party, Edgar? Number seven. Number seven, Edgar. Check number seven. Or oh, let's see, Kevin. Kevin, you hear Kevin? Parece que Kevin estaba por ahí. Kevin, what time is the party? It's a party at eight to seven. Okay, the party is at eight to seven. Okay, what time is the appointment? Let's see, um, Mario. What do you have for the next one? Number eight. Number eight. The number eight. Eh, sería. <laughs> is. La cita. Uh -huh. La cita. What well, time is the appointment? The appointment is at. Uh, that's okay, help. Uh, pass. Mm. Uh, nope. uh, permita. Aquí ya se pasó. Uh, ok, sí. aquí ya se pasó de las seis. Cinco Entonces, minutos, sería... cinco minutos. Cinco minutos sería. Uh, pass uh, 66. Ok, look at this. Acá, sí. vaya, de las doce a las seis sería pass o after. De las seis uh -huh. a las doce sería tú. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría ahí, chicos? The appointment As, is at... Al, no sería tú, ¿verdad? Mm, correcto, sería con tú. To file... O podríamos, podríamos utilizar... Um, ok, 12, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, también podría ser is 29 to 12. 29 to, to 1. Uh -huh. Yeah, too big. Okay, so now, uh, and the last one. What time is the, okay, the soccer match? Okay, I got to help partido. What time is the soccer match? Number nine. Do you Three like past nine. Three past nine. Okay. The soccer match is at three past nine. So now we're going to observe some more examples. And look at this. So here we have some uh, dialogues. We have dialogue number one. Okay. What time is the meeting? It starts at six o'clock. When is it over? It is over at 7.30. Wow. So long. Well, it might finish by 7.15. ¿Qué? ¿A qué hora es la reunión? Inicia a las seis. ¿Cuándo acaba? A las siete y media. Ah, uh, wow, so long. Mm, bastante larga, right? Well, it might finish. Puede que termine a... ¿A qué horas? A las siete y... Uh, 15, 7, 15. Uh -huh, a quarter past seven. Ok. Now, seven. let's read it together. Um, Daniel, what time is the meeting? It starts at six o'clock. When is it over? It is over at half past seven. Wow, so long. Well, it might finish by quarter past seven. Uh -huh, by quarter past seven. Conversation. Teacher, what do they mean so long? Ah, larga. So long. Demasiado, bastante larga. 
la jornada, la, la duración de la reunión. Desde las okay. seis a las siete y media. So an hour and a half, una hora y media, right? That's why they say so long. Wow, so long. Bastante okay. extensa, digamos. Okay. Let's okay. see. Johnny, Johnny, continue with conversation two. When is your first class? It is at uh, 8 30. Okay, me too. When is your last class? My, cl my last class is at uh, uh, 3 uh, 45. Okay, when does it, when does it finish? At uh, 5 15. Wow, so late. I know. Uh, no, oh, ahí está. Wow, so, so late. Lo, pero no, lo de abajo no, no veo. Ok, ahora no, no se ve. Um, ok, lo último que uh, abajo es I know, lo sé. Ok, so when okay, is your I first know. class? Uh, ¿Cuándo es tu primera clase? ¿A qué hora? ¿A qué hora es tu primera clase? It is at 8:30, uh, me too. Uh, ok, a mí también. When is your last class? ¿A qué hora es tu última clase? My last class is at a quarter um, to four. When does it finish? ¿A qué hora termina? At a quarter past five. Wow, so late. Bastante tarde. I know. Okay, lo sé. So now let's see. Uh, Fernando, let's continue with conversation three. Fernando, excuse me. Excuse me. What time is it? It is half past ten. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay, it's 10.30. Oh, thanks. I'll pass 10 means 10.30. 30. Yes, it does. So half past 7 means 7.30? Yes, you got it. Okay, aquí nos están dando una explicación de, de la hora, ¿verdad? Okay, half past, half past 10. Y quiere decir media pasada a las 10. 10, 30. And the other one, el otro era a half past 7, 7 y media. It means, quiere decir 7.30, right? 7.30. Okay, conversation 4. Edgar, help me with conversation 4. Okay. When is the next bus? Okay. It is a quarter past eight. Mm, eight fifteen. That's too early. I want to get a coffee. And when is the next one? And uh, the next bus is a quarter to nine. Mm, a quarter to nine, eight forty-five. Okay, I can take that one. And um, there is also one at. Mm, Quarter past nine. Mm, okay, nine fifteen. It's too late. Nine fifteen. Um, no, that's okay. Yeah, lo dijo bien. Está bien. Yo lo estaba leyendo de la otra forma. <laughs> okay. So uh, okay. Um, I have a class. I have class at uh, half past nine. Uh, don't don't miss. Don't Even. miss it then. Don't miss it then. Okay. So now let's read all the conversations together. What time is the meeting? What time is the meeting? What time is the meeting? It starts at six o'clock. It starts at six o'clock. Okay. When is it over? When is it over? When is it over? It is over at half past seven. Wow. So long. Well, it might finish by a quarter past seven. Conversation two. When is your first class? It is at half past eight. Me too. When is your last class? My last class is at a quarter uh, to four. When does it finish? At a quarter past five. Wow, so late. I know. Conversation three. Excuse me, what time is it? It is half past 10. It is half past 10. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I, I don't understand, right? It is uh, half, half past 10. Oh, thanks. 
half past 10 means 10.30? Yes, it does. So half past seven means uh, 7.30? Yes, you got it. Got it. You got it. Conversation four. When is the next bus? It is at quarter past eight. 8.15? Eight That's too early. That's too early. I want to get a coffee. And when is the next one? Cuando es el siguiente, right? ¿A qué horas? ¿A qué horas pasa el siguiente? Por decirlo así. Uh, the next bus is at a quarter to nine. Uh, 8.45? Okay, I can take that one. I can take that one. There's also, there's also, yo acá lo uní, there's also one at uh, 9.15. Hmm. A quarter past nine is too late. I have class at half past nine. Don't miss it then. So let's check the times. Six o'clock, 7.30, or a half past seven, right? Half past seven. A uh, quarter, vamos a ver, hacemos ahí con el siguiente, 7.15, or a quarter past seven. Okay, the next one. 8.30, la 8.30, 8.30, or half past eight. 3.45, or, okay, a quarter to four, a quarter to four. 5.15, or 5.15, or a quarter past five. 10.30, or half past ten. And 7.30 or half past 7. Okay. A 15 or a quarter past 8. A 45. Vamos acá. A 45 or, or the other way around. A 45. To nine. A quarter to 9. Okay. 9.15 or... A quarter past nine. Okay, and the last one is 9.30. 9.30 means a, a half past nine, right? Okay, you got it? You got it? Yes? Okay, so let's see. Um, Any question? Don't miss it then. Okay, no lo pierdas, right? So don't miss it then. Okay, so now we're going to practice in the break of room, so I'm going to give you some time. Uh, but I don't know, do you have any question about this vocabulary? Alguna pregunta del vocabulario? So let me know. Any question? Let's see. Let's try to make a, a second round. Vamos a hacer una segunda ronda. Okay, um, Oscar. Oscar, conversation one, Oscar. Oscar and Daniel, conversation one. Okay. Uh, what time is the meeting? Meeting. Meeting. What time is the meeting? Meeting. It starts at, start at six o'clock. When is it over? It is over at half past seven. Wow. So long. Well. It might finish by quarter past seven. Okay, perfect. Let's see, conversation to uh, Johnny and let's see, Edgar. Okay. Yeah. Um, when is your first class? Uh, it's at half past eight. Me too. When is your last class? My last class is at uh, um, quarter to four. When does it finish? At uh, quarter past five. Whoa, so late. I know. I don't okay. Know. Excellent. Okay, conversation three. Carmen? And let's see, Fernando. No, let's see anybody else. Kevin, Kevin, yeah. Excuse me, what time is it? Excuse me, what it, time is it? Excuse me, what time is it? 
Excuse me, what time is it? It is half past ten. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Understand, I don't understand. Uh, understand. It it is ten thirteen. Thirty. 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 I'm saying. Um, ten half. 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 Ten. Thirty. Thirty. Yes, it does. So half past seven means means seven thirty. Seven thirty. Yes, you going eat. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got it. Okay. okay. Let's see. Um, number four. Help us, please. Um, let's see. Uh, Mario. Mario and Oscar. When is the news goose? Okay. It's a quarter past eight. Mm -hmm. Eh, hey, no pas, así sería, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, yo lo fui cambiando, pueden cambiarlo, lo pueden decir a quarter past eight or a fifteen. Ah, okay. A quarter es hey, ten. A quarter past. A quarter past. Hey. Hey, eh, das tu early. Early, I want to get uh Coffee. A coffee. Perdón, sí. And when is the next one? And when is the when next is one? I when is the next one. I did okay. And when? Don't worry, uh, it's okay. And when? When yeah. is the next one? When is the mm -hmm. next one? Okay. ¿Cuándo? Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo? And ¿Cuándo when is the next one? Okay. The next one is inquiry tonight. Eh... Uh, Pas quarter haze, okay. Quarter two. Okay. Quarter two. A quarter two. Un cuarto para. Okay. Las ocho. Al para las mm. nueve. Para las nueve. A quarter uh, two. Nine. nine. Okay. I can take a okay. Take the one. That one. That, that one. one. Okay. Okay. I can take that one. Okay. I can take that one. Here it's also one uh, quarter past nine. Mm. Eh, the quarter past nine is. Ah, listen. Ah. Ah. Ah, quarter. Okay, a quarter. A quarter to. Um, oh, no, I mean. A quarter past. Pass nine. I yes, pass out the third. Okay, a quarter. Okay, a quarter. Pass nine. A hard class. As I said, yeah. Para las treinta teacher. Half. 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 Pass nine. Uh huh. Pass pass nine. Domis. Domis. Domis is. ¿Cómo es ahí, teacher? Don't miss it then. Don't miss it then. Don't miss it then. Don't, don't miss, miss it then. then. Ok, don't miss, don't miss it, it then. then. Don't, don't miss, miss it then. then. Don't miss it then. then. Ok, so let's read it once more and then you're going to practice, ok? What time is the meeting? What time is the meeting? It starts at 6 o'clock. When is it over? When is it over? It is over at 7.30, wow, so long. Well, it might finish by 
when is the okay conversation two when is your first class when is your first class this at half past eight me too when is your last class my last class is at a quarter to four my last class is at a quarter to four. When does it finish? When does it finish? When does it finish? When does it finish? At a quarter past five. At a quarter past five. Wow, so late. I know. Okay, conversation three. Excuse me, what time is it? Excuse me, what time is it? It is half past, half past 10. The thing. Okay, I'm sorry, sorry. I don't understand. Don't I'm sorry, don't, I don't, don't understand. Don't oh, yeah. don't it understand. is half past half. 10. Okay, or it is 10.30. It is 10.30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Okay, thanks. Half past ten, ten thirty. Acá lo que está haciendo es eh, dándole las dos formas de cómo se dice la hora. ¿no? Um, half past ten, las diez y media. O se lo lee desde empezando con la hora y después los minutos. Usted nota la, la, que, que, estuvimos, la que estuvimos estudiando. Le dice una loca ahí a Miriam, va. Le dice. Que, ok, hold on. Mario ahí dice. <ríe> ah, vamos a ver. Ok, bien, entonces ahí, ahí estábamos viendo anteriormente que empezábamos nosotros con los minutos y después la hora. En este caso le está explicando que half past ten son las diez. ¿Ven? Acá le da explica de otra manera, las diez, dice con la hora y después los minutos. Ok, excuse me, what time is it? It is half past ten. I'm sorry, I don't understand. It is 10.30. Oh, thanks. Half past 10 means 10.30. Yes, it does. So half past 7 means 7.30. Yes, you got it. Conversation 4. When is the next bus? Bus. It is a quarter past 8. Mm, a 15. That's too early. I want to get the coffee. And when is the next one? The next bus is at a quarter to nine. The next bus is at a quarter, at a quarter, at a quarter to nine. Or at quarter to nine. Recuerden que acá pueden ubicar ustedes a, it's optional, at a quarter to nine. A45, okay, I can take that one. There is also one at the quarter, at 9.15, right? Or a quarter past nine. Mm, 9.15 is too late. I have class at the half past nine. Don't miss it then. Okay, don't miss it then. So now I'm going to open the breakout rooms and I'm going to give you some time to practice, okay? So let's see. I'm going to be monitoring the breakout rooms in a moment. So I'll be with you in some minutes. Okay, so let's do it. So take a, take a picture. So I'm gonna send you one. Les envío una también. Ahí está. But if you can take another one. Okay, so let me know if you have got the invitation. Me dicen ahí si alguien que se quedó sin invitación. Okay, veamos ahí. Calvin, ah, oh, Calvin, okay. Kevin, Kevin, le voy a enviar la invitación nuevamente. Eh, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver por acá.
estábamos escuchando. ¿Cómo es? No, no, no. Ya está la ticha de aquí, no podemos conversar mucho. Ah, ok. Bien. <risa> sí, hombre. La ticha. Okay. Ticha. Dígame, te, pedíamos chame. La te pedíamos la conversación en el chat de la ya. Pues... Oh, perdón, no, no lo comprendí muy bien ahí, Edgar. <risa> la conversación, la, la conversación, digo, la, la screenshot de la... Ah, ok, ahorita. Ahorita, ok. Yo igual la tomé por si... Sí. Oh, pero es que, que estoy dentro de la computadora y aquí no tengo el WhatsApp. Ah, ok, ok. Es peligroso abrirlo aquí. <risa> ok, <risa> la mando a la ticha, ya la comparto. Ok, ok. Ok, compartir pantalla. Ok. Practice. Ok, thank you. Conversation number one. Okay, ¿Quién empieza? Uh, uh, buenísimo. Uh, vaya, voy. What time is the meeting? Uh, ah, okay. yo con Okay. 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 ¿Quién empieza? What wow, okay, time? It's start at six o'clock. Eh, when is it over? Ay, disculpe si no escuchan bien, pero tengo gripe. It's over at uh, half past seven. Wow, so long. Wow, right there. Mario, wow. Que no está admirado todavía. No, la gripe, la gripe, la gripe, apoya. ¿Eh? No, no, no. Ah, entonces voy a, voy a preguntar yo, entonces. Ah, okay. con Johnny, va. Okay. Um, when is your first class? It is at... Half past eight. Me too. When is your last class? My last class is at quarter to four. When does it finish? At quarter a quarter past five. Whoa, so late. I know. Si quiera la conversación tres, usted y yo ni con, con Kevin. Ok. Excuse me, what time is it? It, it is half past ten. I'm sorry, I don't understand. It is ten a... Seri. Seri. Oh, thanks. Half past ten means... Ten, uh, ten thirty. Yes, it does. So half past seven mean seven thirty. Yes, you got it. Yes, you got it. Uh, you got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> O en la cuatro. La cuatro. Con usted y yo, Carmen. Ok. When is the next bus? It is at quarter past eight. A fourteen. Two. Early, no sé cómo se dice eso. Early. Early. Es un nombre, va. I want to get a coffee and when is the next one? The next bus is at uh, quarter to nine. Ahora voy a irme. 
Ok, eh, ahora inicio. When is the next bus going? ¿Cómo dice? When, when, when is the next bus? When is the next bus? Next bus. Okay. It's at quarter past eight. Eight fifteen. That's too early. I want to get up a coffee. And when is the next? When? The next bus is at quarter to nine. It's a uh, fifteen to eight. Okay, I can take the one. There is also one at a quarter past past nine. Okay. Mm. Uh, quarter past nine is too late. I have I have class to nine thirteen. Thirty. Don't miss it then. It's okay. Don't miss it then. Don't miss it then. Don't uh -huh. miss mark. Don't miss it then. Okay. Don't, don't miss it then. Don't miss don't it then. Segunda la palabra miss it, perdón. Uh -huh. Don't miss it then. Don't miss don't, it then. Uh -huh. Don't, miss, don't it then. miss it then. Okay. Don't miss then. it then. 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 Don't miss it then. Then. Uh -huh. Como no, no lo pierdas, right? No lo pierdas entonces. Okay. Perfect. Did you finish? Uh, yes. Okay, so we'll continue. Okay, uh, welcome back, guys. I'm just waiting for some of your classmates. Okay, so just be careful with the pronunciation for uh, these two words, right? Get, get, and bus, bus. The other one is got it, I got it, or you can say, okay, got it, or you can say got, got or got it, okay? Uh, get, bus, got it, and got. Well, it can be pronounced as got or or got it, got it. Okay, you got it. Okay, so now let's continue. And we're going to analyze the following information. This is related to the prepositions of time. Vamos a estudiar ahí las preposiciones de tiempo. Mm. So we are going to discuss mainly about just uh, three prepositions of time, on, in, and at. Entonces, como hemos estado viendo, eh, cuando hemos hecho las preguntas de at, que es lo que hemos estado haciendo anteriormente, eh, perdón, las actividades, de, nos preguntamos sobre el tiempo, hemos estado utilizando muchísimo la preposición at para indicar hora, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, uno de esos usos es para indicar justo eso, ¿verdad? Horas, horas exactas o cualquier hora. At 2.30, for example. At noon, at night, and meta. Y tenemos algunos, también eh, algunas palabras que utilizamos con at como expresiones estandarizadas. Quiere decir que las vamos a decir con la preposición at. Ok. Luego tenemos acá. At noon, al mediodía, at night, de la noche, at midnight, a la medianoche. So what time is the meeting? At night, at noon, at midnight. What time is the party? At midnight, at night, at noon, at 2.30. What time is the, um, let's say, what time is the concert? At noon. Gracias al concierto. What time is the lunch? ¿A qué hora es el almuerzo? 
at noon, at night, at midnight, right? So we indicate time. Entonces, these prepositions, um, Johnny, can you read the information? So these prepositions tell us information about time. Johnny, read the information, a preposition of time. Okay. A uh, preposition of time is a preposition preposition that allow, allows you to discuss a specific time period such as a day of the calendar, mm -hmm. uh, one of the, the days of the week, or the actual time sometimes takes place. Preposition oh. of times are the same word as preposition of place. However, they are used in a different way. In a different way. Okay, and that's right, right? So look at this. Allows you to discuss specific time period. Nos permite, allows, permite discutir un tiempo o un periodo en específico, such as, a day, such as a date, como una fecha en el calendario, one of the days of the week, un día de la semana, or the actual time that something takes place, o el, la hora, ¿verdad? la hora en que algún evento eh, toma lugar. And, uh, well, so we have... a uh, Let's say an explanation which says that prepositions of place, however, uh, are also the same on in and at, but uh, you can use it uh, in a different way, right? Because they express uh, other other things. Nos también tenemos on, in y at como preposiciones de lugar, pero se las vamos a ver en una próxima clase. Okay, ahorita nos enfocamos en tiempo. Okay, so let's continue. And another preposition that we have is on. Okay, acá les di nada más el ejemplo para que ustedes vieran que, con qué lo estamos relacionando, lo que hemos estado trabajando. Pero vamos a empezar acá. Okay, on, on Saturday, on January to the 23rd, on Monday, February the 5th, on Wednesday morning. Okay, on, y me indica on. Lo voy a utilizar con... No, so, ¿Quién me da ahí alguna idea? Days of the week. Vamos ahí. Días de la semana. So, which could be an, any other usage. Dates, fechas, on January the 23rd. El 23 de enero. On Monday, February the 5th. También ahí tenemos fechas más específicas, el lunes, eh, 5 de febrero, on Wednesday morning. Y también con partes de, del día, parts of a day. Es decir que con estos tres casos utilizamos on, días de la semana, fechas, fechas específicas, eh, partes eh, específicas de un día, por ejemplo, el miércoles por la, man por la mañana, on Wednesday morning. El miércoles en la mañana. Ok, so ahí tenemos uno. In. ¿Cuándo utilizamos in? You're going to use in with uh, months. Con los meses. Vamos acá. In May. En eh, mayo. With years. Con años también. In 2018. En el 2018. I was uh, 17. En el 2018. I was uh, 15. Tenía 15. <laughs> ok. In the summer. In the morning, también con estaciones del año. Quiere decir que utilizamos con month of the year, the years, and seasons. Okay. And besides that, you have parts of a day. Vamos a ir. Día de la semana, fechas, partes del día. Okay. Pero más específicas on Wednesday morning. Y acá con in solamente sería eh, una parte del día. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, en la mañana. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Okay. And this is a little bit specific. Well, this is more specific, actually. Entonces, esto es más específico. Miércoles por la mañana. Y acá solo mencionamos una parte, una porción del día. And as you know, uh, with a specific... Ok, specific times, con horas específicas. Y también tenemos es, expresión, ¿verdad? Estandarizada. 
que decimos at noon, no puedo decir in noon, no puedo decir on noon, yo digo at noon, at night, at midnight. Ok, so now let's continue. Continuamos, chicos. Ok, so look at this. Acá tenemos un chart where you can see the usages, months, seasons, years, decades, centuries, long periods, and parts of the day. Ok, eso es lo que estábamos discutiendo. Meses del año, estaciones, décadas, centuries. Siglos, long periods, uh, periodos largos, por ejemplo, in the ice age, en la era de hielo, in the present, in the past, pero um, también está relacionada a las expresiones estandarizadas. Okay. In the present, in the past, in the ice age, um, parts of the day, lo que les mencionaba, la mañana, la tarde, en la noche, in a end. We have an observation here at night. Okay. Pensamos at con night. So I have some questions. Is your birthday in June? If no, when is your birthday? My birthday is on in. So can you tell me your when is your birthday? Okay, I'm gonna start. My birthday is in uh, February. Johnny, how about you? When is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is in July. In July. Daniel, how about you, Daniel? My birthday is in March. In March. Okay. Edgar, how about you, Edgar? In when December. is your birthday? In December, okay, Carmen. <laughs> My birthday is in November. In November, okay. And Mario, how about you, Mario? My birthday is February. In, in February. In, in February. February. Okay. Do you ever go skiing in winter? So what do you do in winter? In winter, um, okay. I go to, okay, I go to the forest in winter, to the mountains. I go to, let's say to a lake. So what do you do in winter? Um, Johnny, tell me, where do you go? Where do you go? Vamos a cambiar un poquito la pregunta. Where do you go in winter? Or what do you do? But you have to add in, right? With the word winter. Tenemos que agregar ahí in con las estaciones del año. Okay? Tell me. Johnny, what do you do in winter? Or where do you go? I, I go to the... Uh, on park. Mm, okay, to the park. Okay, and a, another question. What do you do during winter, Daniel? Tell me, Daniel, Daniel. Hola. Uh -huh. Tell me. So what do you do in the winter? Winter. Winter, ¿qué época es la? la... Invierno. El so invierno. What do you do? Uh -huh. So let me modify the question. I'm going to modify this. Um, Let's say summer. Okay, summer. So what um, do you do during summer? I go to the beach in the summer. Okay, I go to the beach in the summer. Carmen, what do you do? Um, there you have an idea. I didn't know that, Carmen. Um, en el verano. 
For example. Uh, is the park? A park? Okay. I visit the park in the summer. Okay. Or I eat ice cream, right? In the summer. Okay, so now let's continue. We have some more questions. Look at this. Another example. Which month of the year do you like most? Tell me. Ah, uh, February. It's mine. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, how about you? Let's see. Uh, Fernando, tell me. So, which month of the year do you like most? Uh, December. December. I visit my my uh, grandmother, grandfather, and I take my vacation. Okay, in December. In December, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I got it. Okay, so now, so these are some of the usages that we have with uh, in, okay? Months, seasons, years, decades. For example, um, I was born, Okay, I was born in uh, February. Okay, cuando nací, nací en febrero. So you use uh, in with the mouse. Or I was born in February. And you add the, okay, the number, right? In 1994. I was born in 1994. Let's say, um, Okay, the war was in 1932, right, for example. So, do you remember this event? ¿Cuál fue el evento que ocurrió? No. El de la Segunda Guerra Mundial. Guerra Mundial. Ajá. No fue en el 45. Ah, no va. The Ay, second... el 45 terminó. Ah, ok. Ok, the Second World War was... In, so to talk about, let's say, important events, so you, you will see this. Entonces van a ver cosas así. In con años. Decades in the 80s. In the 80s, what happened in the 80s? Okay. And we add an S, right? In the 80s, people used to, okay. Que solía ser la gente en los 80 in the 80s. People used to, to dance reggaeton. No. no. Música disco. Ok. Disco. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. In the 80s, people used to dance disco music. Pero era mejor la música. <laughs> uh, and I will continue with the 20th. Uh, century, okay, también tenemos ahí los siglos, but that's too much, okay, so just, that's just for you to have an idea, right, okay, música disco, ahora nada que ver, ahí van a la disco, vamos a ver, um, <laughs> we have on, ahora seguimos con on, and look at this, on, uh, Daniel, can you read the information, when do we use on, cuando utilizamos on, with, on, days, uh -huh. Examples? Well, on Tuesday, on Saturday, on my birthdays, on Christmas days, on Halloween. On Halloween, okay. Halloween. Dates. Dates. On los números así cardinales, no? Ah. Ordinal. <laughs> Ordinales. 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 Te voy a mandar una foto ahorita para que estén lo, los... Te lo voy a mandar al grupo. Vamos a ver si lo tengo. Así aquí está. Son los números ordinales. Eh, sería el... Ok. 15th. Ahí se los mando. Para que los vayan viendo. Porque es importante en cuanto a las fechas. Vamos a ver. Ahí está. Lo voy a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp. Creo que este sí no tengo acceso ahí para enviarlo. Ok. Ahí está. Un poco lento. Ahí está. Ok. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ir a la tablita. On um, the 15th of June. Sería así. 
and that fifth, tenth, okay. Uh, okay, fifteenth of uh, June. Okay, fifteenth, yeah. On the fifteenth um, June. Bye. Acá, si ustedes notan, no tiene este O en la escritura, ni tiene este da, pero al leerlo, al decir el lenguaje hablado, tenemos que incorporarlo para decir bien la fecha. On the 15th of June. ¿Y qué es lo que utilizamos? Vamos a utilizar los números ordinales en cuanto a dates. Vamos a dar una fecha. ¿Cuál podría ser una date? Puede ser alguna reunión, puede ser este, bueno, puede ser la, la fecha, puede ser este, una fecha de cumpleaños. Ok, um, on the 20th of 20th. 20th. On the 20th of May. 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 Vamos a ver, veamos ahí, ya todos tienen la, la tablita para que los practiquemos un poquito. Vamos escribiendo por acá. Me avisan ahí si ya la tienen. No, no sé cómo. Yes, ya tengo la tablita. Ok, veamos sí, ahí la tablita que está en el WhatsApp. Ok, first, first. Ordinal numbers. Se van ahí donde dice yes. ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers. First, yes. second, second, third, third, third. Okay. Third. Fourth. Fourth. Suena como una Z al final. Fourth. Fourth. Vamos con el cinco. Quinto. Fifth. Fifth. Fifth, ya no es five, es fifth, fifth. Seguimos ahí con el sexto, six, 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 six. So it's going to be a little bit harder. Six, okay. Seventh, 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 eight, Seven. eight, eight, eight. 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 Se so tiene que escuchar eight. al final, S-T-H, eighth. 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 Okay, Eighth. ahí está, ahí está mejor, Carmen. Ninth. 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 Ya no es nine, ninth. es ninth. 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 Tenth. Ninth. Tenth. 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 Look, tenth. Uh, tenth. 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 Eleventh. 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 12 12 12 12 12 13th 12 13th 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 13
of May. Okay. Okay. Bien. Um, so it means that you're going to use um, on with dates, right? O sea, ahí vamos con las fechas. Algo más. Ustedes notan que con las fechas a veces ubicamos un ST, ubicamos eh, un ND, ubicamos un RD. Ok, esas son las terminaciones de la escritura de los números ordinales en escritura. Ok, vamos ahí. Aquí. Vean. Entonces, en las fechas, eh, en alguna fecha, usualmente en las fechas que ubicamos acá, por ejemplo, la, la, el día de hoy, que a veces se le pone el ST, depende de qué, de qué fecha sea. First, si es primero, lleva el ST, si es segundo, lleva el ND. Second, y si es eh, el tercer día del mes, lleva el eh, RD. Third, entonces véanlo ustedes. Es, esto es con los primeros tres días de, okay, del mes. Ahora, con el resto, es decir, desde el 4 en adelante, okay, es decir, el 4 al 9, por ejemplo, ya terminan en, en TH. Entonces acá es TH lo que vamos a ubicar. Por ejemplo, May, uh, ok, 4th, May the 4th, el 4 de mayo. Ahí vamos a ver, July, July 4th, que sea representativo. Ok, July the 4th, ok, on July the 4th. Entonces, ahí en adelante utilizamos TH. Ya digamos, tenemos ahí el 21. Voy a, a replicar lo que vimos aquí con el 1, 2 y 3, porque voy a... Acá es al, al número que yo le voy a poner este... Vamos a escribir ¿no? la forma ordinal. Ok. 20, miren, 20, 20. Ahora, 20, first. 20, first. Entonces sería algo así. May 20, May the 21st. Vamos a ir con otro ejemplo. El, 20, el 22. Ok. 20 second. 20 second. Ocupamos un guión acá siempre para dividir ya cuando tenemos dos cifras. 20 second. On. On July, oops, on July, da 22nd. Entonces a eso se debe, a eso se debe SND, CTH, tal vez 20, 23rd. Ok. Entonces son los números del. Uh, ok, del 4 en adelante hasta llegar al número 19. Ok, son TH. Solo estos tres son los que van variando. O sea, si es 21, 22, 23. O 31, 32, 33. Siempre va, va terminando con, con el último número. ST, ND o RD. Okay, so now let's continue. Ya no distrajemos ahí un poquito con eso. Okay, uh, parts of a specific day. Parts of a specific day. Okay. On yes. Monday morning, uh -huh. on Friday evening, on Saturday night, on Sunday afternoon. On Sunday uh -huh, afternoon. Okay. Afternoon. Entonces, acá, como lo vimos al principio, les mencionaba que partes del día en específico, es decir, mencionamos el día más una parte de ese día. On Monday morning, on Friday evening, on Saturday night. Es decir, en la mañana del lunes, en la tarde del viernes, el sábado por la noche, el domingo en la tarde. Ok, so you use on with, a, with that, parts of a specific day. Y ahora nada más para la fecha de cumpleaños. Por ejemplo, my birthday is on. Vamos on. Voy a poner aquí mi ejemplo. 
February, recuerden, mayúscula, el mes del el mes. Y acá, es solamente para resaltar, lo voy a dejar así. On February, ok, 7 ¿Y cómo se lee? If birthday is on February the 7th. On February the 7th. O puede ser. También tenemos las dos formas como la hora. Puede ser como nosotros lo hacemos en el español. The 7th of. ¿Qué me sigue? February. Entonces esta es la forma británica y esta es la forma eh, inglesa. Ah, perdón, de, de um, americana. Okay. ok, my birthday is on February the 7th. Y la otra es esta, the 7th of February. Ok, so just take notes, because that's going to be useful. Y solo decimos, ok, mejor me quedo solo con el mes. Ok, in February. What is your birthday in February? <laughs> ok, but you need to know all that things. Pero si no es que lo conozco. Okay, so now, uh, let's see. I have some questions. Um, what time do you usually get up on weekends? What time do you usually get up on weekends? Entonces, tenemos ahí una expresión con la palabra weekends. Es decir, que con weekends utilizo on. On weekends, I get up at, the, let's say, 10. 10 a.m. Edgar. What time do you usually get up on weekends? On weekend, I get up at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Uh, Daniel? 6 a.m. Wow. On weekend, I get up at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. 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 Okay, uh, Johnny? How about you, Johnny? Uh, on weekends, I get up at... Seven. Seven. Seven a.m. Okay. Wow, well, you always uh, get up early. Siempre se levanta temprano. Mario, how about you, Mario? What time do you usually get up on weekends? Excuse me. Ah, what time do you usually get up on weekends? On weekends. La fin de semana. What time do you usually get up? Uh, I get up. I get up. Uh... At? At 10. Okay. <laughs> At 10 a.m. Okay. 10 a.m. on weekends. Algunos quizás no me quisieron decir si era cierto. <laughs> si era uh, verdadero lo que les había puesto ahí. ¿verdad? Se levantaba a los 10. Okay. Excellent. Um, let's see. Um, okay. We also have some other expressions like on weekday afternoons. Tenemos ahí algunas otras expresiones como uh, las tardes de los días de semana, on weekday afternoons, ok, on weekday evenings, okay. las noches de los días de semana, ok, were you born in the 1990s, if no, when were you born, ok, so we have some questions, so I think we will continue in our next class, ok, but, um, ok, just to uh, finish with this, I'm going to show you the last one. The usage is for at. Solo terminamos ahí, chicos, con ese. Ya vamos a compartir el, el último at, ¿verdad? Uh, let's see. Johnny, can you read the information for at? Uh, yeah. at, at okay. 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 Uh, four o'clock. At no uh, mucosera o porque uh, si no no me van a dejar entrar. Continue, sorry. At lunch time, um, at dinner time. Holidays. Uh, at Christmas. At Easter. Easter. At the weekend. At present. At the moment. At night. Okay, excellent. And as we mentioned at the beginning, times of a day, or specific times, right? Um, clock times, or a reloj, right? At four o'clock, at 10.30, at noon, uh, we have standard expressions. Expresiones estándar con at, 
al mediodía, a la medianoche, las horas de las comidas. At lunch time, la hora del almuerzo. At dinner time, la hora de la cena. También para celebraciones, fiestas, right? Holidays. At Christmas, en Navidad. Um, aunque eh, Christmas también puede ser utilizado con on, ¿ok? At Christmas or on Christmas Day. At Easter, para una fecha de, de Pascua. At the weekend. Y at puede ser utilizado también con eh, weekend. Uh, as well as on, igual que on. Y tenemos algunas expresiones también. At present, at the moment, and at night. Mañana espero compartirles un poquito más de esto para que sigamos practicando uh, un poco más de prácticas de, de speaking. Okay, and uh, let's see. I'm going to pass the attendance list because it's uh, 10. Okay. Yo sé que quieren continuar, pero <laughs> no vamos a quedar hasta aquí. <laughs> Y Daniel, llorando casi. No, le tengo gripe. La gripe. Estoy molestándolo. Ok, vamos a ver. Calvin Alexander Hernández Ramírez. Calvin. Carmen Amada López Arigueta. Present teacher. Carmen, Carmen, ¿verdad que se quería quedar? <laughs> Yo me quería quedar. <laughs> okay. Bien, vamos a ver este Cristian Vladimir Corolera, este chico. Bueno, me Daniel Enrique Cifuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Dora Trinidad Cornejo Cepeda. Edgar y Daniel Sonreyes Portillo. Present, present, present. Thank you. Fátima Alexandra Martínez, amistad Fátima. Fátima. Yeah. Vamos, okay. no. okay. Fernando Ramírez Monge. Present. Thank you. Ok, ah, por cierto, también Gloria Evelyn Mengibar de Castellón. Ok, por cierto, también te quería comentar que este, las personas que se van a escribir para el próximo módulo eh, ya nos están solicitando la documentación para que ustedes puedan hablar con el encargado responsable de, de recursos humanos y puedan empezar a hacer la gestión de la inscripción al siguiente módulo. Ok, y si no, pues, eh, pues no hace nada. Ok, Ingrid Vanessa Blanco Vázquez. Present. Thank you, Ingrid. Johnny Antonio Silva Cepeda. Present. Ok, Jonathan David Martínez Escobar. Present. Thank you. Les comento eso, chicos, porque eh, si ustedes se inscriben, digamos, eh, parece que nos han puesto una fecha. Creería yo que se estaría recibiendo la documentación hasta el día 18, 18, para que puedan continuar lo más pronto posible. Entonces, ustedes envíenla, ustedes envíenla. Eh, José Efraín Ramírez. Ok. Jocelyn Marlene Mengíbar. Juan Francisco Montoya Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Kevin Alonso Lobato. Kevin. Present. Ahí está Kevin. Okay. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Mario. Ok. Oscar Antonio Guevara Carranza. Oscar. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Hey. And William Vladimir Enriquez eh, Hernández. Perdón, Hernández Zapata. Eh, teacher, consulta. Dígame, Mario. Eh, ¿Ya hay clases presenciales? No, por el momento no. Solamente que les consulte, porque las clases presenciales se dan ahí en, en Riga, ahí, en, ahí por la Torre Futura. Uh -huh. Ok. Ajá, pero puedo consultar. Si ¿Está, está interesado en las clases presenciales, puedo consultar. Mm, mm, bueno. También. Ajá, pero no sé qué horario está manejando. Okay. ok, bien chicos, eso es todo por hoy. So I'll see you in our next class. So that will be tomorrow. Nos vemos mañana, chicos. Tenemos una clase el día de mañana. Vamos a hacer un review de todo lo que hemos estado haciendo. Ok, so I'll see you okay. tomorrow. So don't miss the class. Okay. No
Bye. 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 Bye.